Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial video on how to install the Aviva OI servers. Now to begin the process first we'll open up a browser and navigate to the Aviva customer support uh, software support site. Once we successfully log in we'll be presented with this welcome screen and then we'll just simply navigate to the communications drivers button. Once we get into the connectivity hub, we'll come down under products and select the Wonderware option. And then we'll scroll down to locate the OI Gateway software and select apply. We'll be, uh, we'll be presented with the OI Gateway OI server and we'll click on it. Now, as of this video, this is the latest version, which is uh, as of 1 June 2020, and you'll be presented with this option to download the Communications Drivers Pack 2020. Now, to download it, we'll simply select the Download Out icon. We'll get the Download dialog box, and we can uh, click on the Download button. That'll begin the download process. Now, the next thing we need to do is try to locate our specific driver uh, for our uh, specific PLC. To do that, we'll uh, click on the Communications Drivers button once again. And in this case, we will select ABCIP for this demonstration. Um, just supposing that we are going to connect to Allen Bradley Control Logic Series PLCs, and we will uncheck the OI Gateway since we are already we've already downloaded that. Make sure that your driver, your specific driver, is selected, and we will just click on the Apply button. Once we do that, we will see that we're presented with our particular driver module. We'll go ahead and select it. That'll bring us up to the download page and we will, be, uh, we will be presented with the latest version of this particular driver and just like the uh, communications driver pack we just simply select the download icon and select download once that's complete we can uh, go ahead and exit out of our browser and open up our Windows Explorer and locate our file now I have already I took the liberty of already downloading these uh, so you will be presented with two zip files and you will just simply right click and extract the contents to uh, their respective folders now once the contents have been successfully extracted uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select communications drivers uh, folder and just open it up locate the setup uh, e executable right click on it and say run as administrator. We'll install the prere uh, prerequisites. Once the uh, prere uh, prerequisites have been met, uh, we can uh, click on next, select OK, accept the uh, user agreement. Uh, read the uh, dialog uh, screen here and select next. Verify that these are the uh, items that we are going to um, install. In this case, we're going to get installed the core, the simulator, the gateway, and MQTT. The licensing components have already been installed. I'll select next, and that begins the actual installation process. Once that process completes, we'll just simply select finish. and now we can move on to the second part of the demonstration we're going to install our uh, module specific installation in this case again ABCIP we'll select setup right click on it and say in, and select install click on the install button it'll go through a brief installation procedure we click on finish and we're good to go uh, the next thing is to open up the systems management console and verify installation. Now we have a new option within the systems management console 
is called the Operations Integration Server Manager. Uh, we just expand all groups. And now we see our new OI servers uh, already installed and ready to be configured. That concludes this brief tutorial video on how to install the Aviva OI servers. Thanks for watching.